chapter three. What are the pros and cons of credit-based funding? Clearly, with all three funding segments, there are some benefits and disadvantages you must understand. So in this chapter, we will dive into the pros and cons of credit-based funding so you can understand all the advantages and disadvantages as it pertains to fees, tax benefits, and credit reporting advantages. Also, uh, you can start building your business credit with business credit cards, which is really key. Most business owners I speak to are not even aware that there is such a thing as business credit. I can't stress enough how important it is when you start your business to start building business credit. And the best way to start doing that is with business credit cards. So let's get started. Protects personal credit. As mentioned before, there are two ways you can fund your business with the credit-based funding path with either. A, personal credit cards or B, business credit. I always stress never use personal credit cards to fund your business unless it's the only option you have. If you do use personal credit cards, the goal should always be to position yourself. So in the very near future, you can establish business credit cards and transfer any balances on the personal cards to the business cards. This separation is key because one of the most important benefits of having business cards is it protects your personal credit from your business credit. Most business credit cards will not report on your personal credit. They will only report on your business credit report, which helps you manage your personal DTI. Debt to income ratio is a personal finance measure that compares the amount of debt you have to your overall income. So you do not want your DT affected by the debt of your business. This is huge. For example, let's assume you have been approved for a $50,000 business line of credit and you need to access the full amount. You want it to report to the business credit. So it does not affect your utilization, which will affect your personal credit score. So one of the key benefits is this separation of business and personal credit. Let me give you a real life example of how this could affect you if not set up correctly. I had a client who owned a chain of small grocery stores in this community. He was making a great income and he would use his personal credit cards to cover some recurring business expenses. It, he got into a position where he wanted to purchase a bigger home and based on his personal income, he definitely could qualify. But one of the issues he ran into was his DC debt to income ratio, which was too high based on how he had things structured and the high balances on his personal credit cards were affecting his credit utilization. I advised him that the best thing for him to do is to establish business credit cards, which we did. We took his balances on his personal credit, transferred them to the new lines we established and reduced his DTI. And he was able to quickly qualify for better rates that the bank initially offered him. And he was able to purchase the home after these adjustments were made. The debt that you are accumulating for your business is not yours personally. It's your business debt. It does not belong in your personal credit. This is one of the key things I emphasize with each one of my clients the ability to separate their personal credit from their business credit. Bill's business credit, as mentioned earlier, a lot of business owners are not even aware that there is such a thing as business credit. By establishing business credit cards, you are able to start building business credit for your business. This is huge. Business credit cards are just like there are personal credit cards. This allows you to separate your personal credit from your business credit. Even startups can establish business credit, but most importantly, by having business credit allows you to start creating that history for your business because the goal is in the future, your business should be able to obtain funding without you having to personally guarantee your business loans. This will only happen when you have business credit. When your business can stand on its own two feet, just think about the owner of Cargill, Coach Industries, or Albertsons, a few of the largest privately held companies. Do you think they look at their owner's personal credit if their business needs funding? The answer is no. These companies have established big business credit history. That it does not matter what the owner's personal credit is, and that is the ultimate goal for your business to be able to get to the point that it has a long established business credit history that your personal guarantee is not required for funding. So the business can borrow money its own. This is a very important benefit here with business credit cards. They allow you to build business credit by separating your personal credit from your business. If you need assistance establishing lines of credit for your business, reach out to Pennington Consulting Group. Visit www.
PenningtonSultingGroup.com. Risk management. Another important benefit for business credit lines is risk and management. Based on statistics, up to 65% of new businesses fail within the first five years. So with every new business, you are taking a risk. Now, what business credit cards allow a business to do is mitigate risk. The majority of business credit cards have a zero introductory offer for six, 18 months. I mean, let's pause for a second and let that last sentence marinate. I mean, where can you go borrow $25, $50, or even $100 right now at a zero interest rate, no income verification, or no time in business requirement? Don't worry. I'll wait exactly nowhere. Even if your family member's grandma, grandpa, your ex-boyfriend or girlfriend lets you borrow money, you still have to deal with them on Thanksgiving or Christmas. With business credit cards, a startup or established business can get access to capital at zero. If this is huge. This allows you to reduce the stress associated with starting a business by not having to focus so much on your interest and payment if you had a loan. This allows you to focus on building or growing a successful business. Think about it like this. If you have $50 loan Vs, a $50 good business credit card. On the $50 loan, your payment principal and interest are due every month whether you use the money or not. While on the other hand, the $50 line of credit, you only pay on the amount used. If you use $5 tank the first month, you only pay back that amount. Let me throw in another example of how this can be utilized to mitigate risk. I have clients that invest in real estate. They buy rehab and sell real estate properties. When they come to me and need funds to a purchase, but we have their properties, what we do is we approach a hard money, private money lender and borrow at 65, 75 RV after repair value for the purchase of the property at a fixed interest rate, but they still may need money for rehab or closing costs. What I help them establish is a business credit card. If it's a newly established card, it comes with a zero interest rate, which allows them to pay their rehab or closing cost associated with the transaction at a zero rate. Based on the scenario, you can have a borrower invest none of their own money and generally real estate flippers, they want to get in and out, purchase, rehab, sell within less than 90 days. This allows access to funds for this transaction paying nothing on interest because they can take advantage of the zero offers with the funds they use on the business credit cards. I mean, this is magic right here. When you are talking about mitigating risk, just think about it because everything in business, there is risk associated with it. So when you can mitigate risk like this all by simply structuring things correctly, you start to build and expand your business while maximizing your profits. No collateral required. The other benefit that I want to shine a light on as it pertains to a credit based funding path is there is no collateral needed. Traditionally, collateral used to be considered an important part of qualifying for business financing. But with credit cards, you do not have to have any collateral pledge for you to qualify for funding. The financing is solely based on credit. The four factors we mentioned earlier to jog your memory, the lender will only look at derogatory utilization, age of file and inquiries. And again, these factors are all based on your credit. Also, no revenue verification is needed for business credit card. Funding lenders generally do not ask for bank statements, tax returns, financial statements, or any of these types of documents. As I mentioned earlier, 65 of businesses fail within the first five years. I have heard of horror stories where some business owners use the equity on their home to finance their business, basically pledging their home as collateral to get a business financing. Actually, some CB loans require that, that you place your home as collateral. This is a huge risk. Not just are you adding all this business debt on your personal credit, but what if your business fails? Now, you are putting yourself at risk of not just losing your business, but you are putting yourself at risk of losing your home. I mean, how are you going to explain this to your husband or wife? And the worst part, how can you explain to your kids that you gambled their home with your business idea? This is horrible and it happens every day, and I don't want this to be you. As a reminder, please visit www.penningtonconsultinggroup.com. We will help you structure your business correctly, regardless if you are a startup or established business. Flexibility and continuous access. Now let's discuss the flexibility and continuous access that is available with business credit cards 
We touched on it earlier, but let's really expand. So you understand how, unlike the other two funding paths, business credit cards offer more flexibility. Unlike loans, business credit cards are unique and advantageous to you. Now, when you borrow a 50K loan, uh, payment is due each month, every single month. Whether you like it or not, the bank does not care if your business has money that month or if you even haven't used the funds. They want their principal and interest payment every single month, period. Um, with business credit cards, you only have to pay on the amount used. So if you have a 50K line of credit and only use 5K, your payment will only be for that 5K, even though you have access to the full 50K. Also, unlike a business loan, when you use the full loan amount of 50K and need more money, you are forced to get another loan. Instead of having one payment, you will have two payments. Unlike a business line of credit, when you pay it down, you can use it again so that 50K, you will have continuous access forever. As long as you maintain a positive payment history, you will always have access to the line of credit. So again, flexibility with your funding when you're starting or growing your business is critical. Tax benefits. The final benefit I want to cover is the tax advantages with having a business credit card where you can be able to write off the fees and interest paid. I must be clear and emphasize that this does not apply to personal credit cards. That is why I stress so much for business owners to have business credit cards, not personal credit cards, to build their business. You want the ability to write off fees and the interest you are paying on the credit line. If you are using a personal credit card, then based on IS rules, you may not qualify to write off the fees and interest associated with using the funds for business purposes. Accountants have raised this issue numerous times with the IRSC Internal Revenue Service. The majority of business owners miss out on tax benefits because they don't borrow money the right way. One of the best ways to reach your financial goals is to reduce your tax obligation as much as you can. So this added benefit is something that business owners need to take advantage of, disadvantages of business credit cards. Now, of course, there are some disadvantages with having business credit cards, but not many. Let's briefly cover them here. One of the disadvantages is that good to almost perfect credit is required to qualify for business credit cards. No worries if you need assistance building your credit, you must reach out to our firm at www.debbingtonconsultinggroup.com. We can help you make the necessary adjustments needed based on the four factors lenders look for so that you can take advantage of business credit line. I get this question often, Brian. Why do they care about personal credit to establish business credit? Excellent question. Think about when you were 18 years old and needed to purchase your first car. You needed your mom or dad to co-sign for you. Then after a few years, you were able to stand on your own two feet and get your own financing. It's almost exactly the same for business credit. When your business lacks business credit, the lender will require you to evaluate your personal credit to see how much they can extend to your business. Also, initially, when you establish these new business credit lines, you are personally guaranteeing the lines. So in case of default, they can come after you personally, very similar to a co-signer. The major difference is when you co-sign for someone, the trade line will report on, on both the borrower's credit reports. When you personally guarantee a line of credit for your business, it generally only reports to the business credit profile and not the personal credit profile. Secondly, um, one thing that may be considered a disadvantage is business credit funds usually come in the form of a credit card. So you may need to get creative to access cash if you need cash. If you do not need cash, use it just like a credit card, but there are a few options to get cash out of the credit lines if needed. You can either get convenience checks from the lender or you can use the cash advance option available on the line. Do not recommend cash advances since the fees are usually outrageous. We do offer other options on how to turn the lines into cash. Feel free to contact us and we will assist you with unique ways to access cash from the lines of credit. For example, did you know there are bank accounts you can open and fund the account with a credit card? Well, there you go. I just gave one of our mini tactics. We can help you establish a bank account with the newly opened credit card. Fund the account with the credit card and boom, you have cash from that credit card. It's just one of many unique tactics we use to help our business credit clients access cash out of their credit cards. 
For more information, visit our website, www.penningtonconsultinggroup.com.